What's up guys, welcome to Apex, thanks for tuning in. Samsung has already started rolling out One UI 6.1 based on 6.1.1 and has introduced some brand new features and we have already discussed all these new features in my previous video. Now Samsung has also made some changes inside the gallery application which I wanted to discuss with you guys in this video. But before we go ahead, if you are new on the channel and if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and subscribe. You would have spent a lot of money buying these expensive smartphones and you may not know how to use it to its fullest potential. On this channel, I keep you posted about all the new updates, the new features, the tips and tricks for the Galaxy phones and other Android phones. So uh, if you want to learn about your phone, then this is the channel you need to subscribe to. So go ahead, become a part of Apex community by subscribing to the channel and hit the like button if you find this video informative. And yeah, if you're interested in this wallpaper, every video I post will have a brand new wallpaper. You can go ahead and check out the links in the description to download them. Now let's dive right into the video. Now let's open the gallery application here. Now uh, most of you guys already know that we can enable gallery labs inside the gallery and that is where Samsung has made some changes on One UI 6.1's latest upgrade. Let me tap on the hamburger menu here. You see we have got studio option and all other options here. Now let me tap on settings. I have already enabled gallery labs here. You can see gallery labs is showing up. If you don't have it, I will tell you uh, how to activate this gallery labs in a bit. Uh, now let's get into the gallery labs. Now this is where some of the experimental features are available. It says all functions in labs are not official, but only for internal tests. Please do not change below options, which might cause unexpected corruption or wrong behavior. Now actually there is no issues if you enable or disable these settings. I've been doing this for a couple of years now, so I don't notice any issues there. So if you want to experiment some cool new features, you can come here and uh, experiment these features. Now. On the One UI 6.1, on the latest update, we have got some changes right here on the top. Uh, you see show sticky data and location was kind of there uh, before as well. Then the hamburger menu in viewer bottom, this was also there. And then tag view in search v2 was also there. Now here, we have got a brand new option called slide show with selected item. What this feature does is, we will be able to select a few images inside the gallery application and then tap on the menu to uh, see this all new option slideshow to view those images in slideshow. Let me show you how it works in a bit. The next option is slideshow auto repeat playback. If you enable this, the slideshow that you are enabled will keep repeating itself. And then we have got a brand new option here, go to studio, which can be enabled or disabled right here. Now, whenever you enable or disable these options, you need to first close the gallery and then reopen it to see these features getting activated or getting effective. Now, let me show you the first one, slideshow with selected items. Now, let me close the gallery here. I will reopen it. Now, let's say I've got a few images here. Let me uh, select these images. Let me select about eight of them. And now when I tap on this uh, more option, we've got start slideshow option right here. Let me tap on this. Now you can see we've got slideshow with the background music. Pretty cool, isn't it? The music will keep playing here. Uh, then we have got this watch again option. We can tap on this to start this slideshow again. But if you want to repeat this slideshow continuously, then what you can do is you can just go to the gallery labs again, settings, gallery labs, enable the slideshow auto repeat playback. Now just open the gallery, select the option, select the images that you want to slideshow. Let's say I will select uh, about four of them. I will tap on more. I will start the slideshow here. We've got a different music now. Let's see if this repeats itself. It's, it's showing me the time here. It will start repeating now. You see?
Again, it shows about seven seconds to repeat itself. Now, this is pretty cool. I'm not very sure if you guys are going to use this feature, but uh, we do have this option now inside the Gallery Labs. We can enable slideshow with selected items and we can slideshow auto repeat playback. Just in case if you want to cherish some memories, uh, you can just play, uh, you can just slideshow some of the images and keep it in front of you while you're working or doing something, then uh, this could be useful. Now, I'm not saying that the slideshow option wasn't there. It was there when you tap on this three dot button, you can see we can start the slideshow. And when you tap on that start slideshow, it will immediately start the slideshow from the first image. And there is no option to uh, select the images, but now we have got that option with the new update. Now let's look at the next option, go to studio. Now if I disable this and reopen the gallery and tap on this hamburger menu, we do not have studio options anymore. If you enable it, you will get the studio option again. Let me open gallery, hamburger menu, we have got a go to studio option right here. So these are some of the options which have changed inside the gallery labs. Now I'm not very sure if you already have these options uh, before this 6.1 upgrade, let me know in the comment section. Now another brilliant option which was there before as well and which is also available now is the hamburger menu in viewer bottom. Now what this does is, once disabled, hamburger menu will be moved to the top menu in viewer disabled from one UI 6.0. Now I have already enabled this. so. Uh, I have got the menu options right here. Let me just open the image here. You see we have got the hamburger menus right here at the bottom. I can tap on this. It's very easy for one-handed access or one-handed usage. Now if I disable this option, let's go to settings again and tap on this hamburger menu view, uh, viewer bottom. Let me disable this. Now you see, let me just close the uh, gallery, open it, open an image. Now we don't have that hamburger menu here. We have got the delete button here. The three dot button is right here on the top right corner. And if you enable that option in gallery, it will come right here at the bottom for an easier access. Now by default, the gallery labs option is not available on your Galaxy phones. You need to enable it. To enable that, all you need to do is just go to the hamburger menu here inside your gallery, tap on settings and go all the way down. You will find about gallery, tap on this. And uh, right here on the version number, keep tapping on this multiple times, at least about seven, eight times when you tap, the gallery labs will be enabled and that will sit right here at the bottom. And uh, you can open it to see all these options whenever you enable or disable an option. Make sure to close the gallery labs and then reopen it to see these options taking effect. That's how you enable gallery labs on your Galaxy phone. Now let me just bring the Galaxy S23 Ultra. I will just show you guys the differences here. Let me uh, open the gallery here and uh, let me go to the uh, settings. I have enabled gallery labs here as well. Let's go to the settings here also and open the gallery labs. You see, this is the previous version of gallery labs. We have got more options in viewer bottom. Uh, it's the same one which is here, hamburger menu in viewer bottom. So they have changed the labels here. Then we had this return to viewer while exiting. This was kind of a, a useless feature which was there. So they have removed that feature from here. Then we have got tag in search version two. I believe this V2 means. This option is also available right here on the current version. Then you see we have slideshow with selected items, slideshow auto repeat playback, go to studio, which are not available here. And a remote gallery was there before. And now that has been removed on the gallery labs on the latest version of One UI 6.1. Now I couldn't really get this remote gallery working for some reason, it never worked. And uh, Samsung has finally removed it. It would have been great if we could have this feature. We can access an album of the remote device in same Wi-Fi domain. We can just create uh, a remote gallery album and that can be accessed on another device through the Wi-Fi, through the same Wi-Fi domain. That would have been fantastic, but for some reason Samsung has completely removed this option. Anyways, it wasn't working, so that's all right. Now, these are some changes inside the gallery lab. The rest of the uh, you know options remain the same. Now, let me show you something more interesting. Let's open an image here on the S23 Ultra. I'll open an image here as well. Now uh, we have got the hamburger menu here at the bottom. Let me tap on this three dot button and tap on set as wallpaper. Now you can see here we have got some additional options now on the latest One UI 6.1. On the previous version, we just have a few options. Lock screen, home screen, lock screen and home screen. We can set up this wallpaper. Then always on display is available here and that has been removed here for some reason. And then we have got call background, which is available right here and watch face, which is also available you can see set as watch face option. Now, apart from these, we have got two brand new options, calendar alert background, reminder alert background, and in fact, uh, three uh, options, we have got alarm background as well. We will be able to set this wallpaper directly as alarm background. Let me tap on this. You see, it will directly take you to the alarms uh, customization options, the background customization option. You can do this right from the gallery now. 
and if you want to uh, do this for the uh, you know calendar alert background you can tap on this it will directly take you to the calendar application customization option you can set this up and you can just uh, jump back into the gallery right from there and then we also have this reminder alert background you can tap on this you see it is taking to reminder alert background so we can customize all these backgrounds right from the gallery application now which is just brilliant and this was not there on the previous version now moving on some of you guys have been complaining that the uh, portrait studio is not showing up on your uh, galaxy s24 series after updating to uh, 6.1 now you need to know that portrait studio will appear only on the portrait images not on every image now let's say i open this image and tap on edit you see we have got ai option and when I tap on this, we get sketch to image, but there is no portrait studio here. Now uh, you need to go to the portrait image. Let me just open a portrait of mine. Let's open this image. Now, if I tap on edit and uh, tap on this AI icon, you see we've got portrait studio right here. I can tap on this to choose the portrait style and apply it on this portrait image. That is something to note here. Now there is one more change which I have noticed is whenever you are editing an image uh, by going to this AI uh, option, you can see we have got this plus button right here on the top left to add another image from the gallery. But now uh, we have got this option inside this uh, menu. You see, you have to tap on this three dot button to add from the gallery, uh, to add another image from the gallery. That is how it works now. Now, these are some of the changes which I've noticed on the gallery application. You guys let me know if you have noticed something new, something special, drop a comment uh, and let me know. And while you do that, be sure to subscribe to the channel and uh, give this video a like if you find this video informative. Thanks for watching. That's about it you guys take care and stay safe cheers bye bye